remember in the very first volume, we suggested learning to hit a one-handed backspin backhand with an open face right off the bat? While this is broadly thought of as an advanced approach, it's actually quite simple. After all, once the ball bounces, it has forward spin or top spin, and hitting with an open face doesn't change the direction the ball is spinning. In Volume 1, we also showed some lead-up progressions that you can use to get to this stage. The main issues are to get a feel for contact with an open racket face. Use the left hand or non-dominant hand to set up the racket for contact and keep the feet active and moving. Of course, if very young children need to hold on with two hands, it does no harm. But realize that whatever you start them off with, they will likely continue and changes after habits are established are usually difficult to make. Since getting the ball over the net is a prime objective, right from the start, a good trick is to raise the height of the net. This guides the new player to create arc and get a feel for the first objective in tennis. Simply get the ball over the net. Like all backspin shots, including the volleys, the simple checkpoint for the finish of the one-handed backspin backhand is that the racket strings finish pointing in the direction the ball was just hit. Here you see Kalindi using a visual aid to clearly demonstrate this point. The foam arrow is easy to use and clear to see. We just remind Kalindi of where to finish and she will get a feel for it in no time. This approach will serve her well throughout her career. Then, once the player has a feel for lifting the ball over the higher net, remove the extra high net and guide them to understand what they have just accomplished. So Kalindi, how did that feel in terms of where your strings were finishing? Well, it felt like I was finishing where I just hit. So your strings were finishing where you just hit the ball, pointing in that direction? Yes. Good job. Once a feel for the basics of the one-handed backspin backhand is achieved, I suggest giving the two-hander a try to see how the new player likes it. Make it clear that they will always need the one-hander as well, especially when they are reaching wide or short, as well as to hit drop shots. Take a look at what you can expect from a beginner hitting a two-handed topspin backhand in the first hour of getting a feel for the shot. Here we see Kalindi hitting at a speed that a beginner can expect to master very quickly. Most people make the mistake of thinking that a two-handed topspin backhand is very different from a one-handed topspin forehand. Actually, they are almost identical. The two-handed backhand is really a left-handed or non-dominant hand topspin forehand. Since Kalindi is right-handed, I start her off hitting a lot of lefty forehands like she's now demonstrating. Of course, whenever you mention hitting a lefty forehand to a beginner, many will get intimidated since they'll probably feel weaker hitting with their non-dominant hand. Try to lighten things up by joking around a little at first. What can you do to get them laughing? Here's one idea from our friend Bijou. These tricks may look difficult, but if you take a little time and master one or two of them, you'll be amazed how much you can help your students or your children by just getting them laughing. The fact is that the transition from a left-handed forehand to a two-handed backhand is quite easy. Step one is to hit the lefty forehand. Step two is to place the right hand on the bottom of the grip but hold the grip with only the thumb and the index finger since the two-hander is hit largely with the dominant left hand. Take a look. Here Kalindi is hitting with two hands but because the right hand is acting like a hitchhiker just going along for the ride, the left hand is forced to do most of the work. The final step is to have Kalindi place her entire right hand on the grip, but keep it relaxed to maintain the feel that the left hand is doing most of the work.
Of course, Kalindi makes it look easy, since she's been hitting these shots for nearly two years when we filmed this part of the series. If you need to help a beginner get an initial feel for the lefty or non-dominant hand forehand, please go through the steps outlined in the third show of this series called Beginner Forehand. It clearly lays out all you need to know about the swing, the spin, and the footwork of this shot.